Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Eucharistic celebration, 24th December. We pray for divine retreat center, Samasbi. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreat center, Samasbi. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer in this your temple. May the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The entrance and different. Behold, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son into the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear loving children of God, today when we celebrate this Eucharist, on the eve of Christmas, let's remember those who are not able to practice, and those who are not able to participate or celebrate this Christmas uh, in 2020. Among them, people who are in hospital connected with this pandemic, people who are uh, self-quarantined in their own houses or in hotels, we remember, help them to cope up those days there. And people who are stranded and who are not able to join with their uh, house and household, we remember them very specially in our prayer today. And also, all those who are having the preparations for Christmas, we wish and pray a good gathering as family together today and tomorrow. Brethren, let us remember and confess all our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus. Do not delay that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming. Live and reign with the God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. <clears throat> A reading from the second book of Samuel. Once David had settled into his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all the enemies surrounding him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, Look, I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go and do all that is in your mind, for the Lord is with you. But that very night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. 
Go and tell my servant David. Thus the Lord speaks. Are you the man to build me a house to dwell in? I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to a leader of my people Israel. I've been with you on all your expeditions. I have cut off all your enemies before you. I will give you fame as great as the fame of the greatest on the earth. I will provide a place for my people Israel. I will plant them there and they shall dwell in that place and never be disturbed again. Nor shall the wicked continue to oppress them as they did in the days when I appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give them rest from all their enemies. The Lord will make you great. The Lord will make you a house. And when your days are ended and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and your and make his sovereignty secure. I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. The word of the Lord. Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. A response, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. The response, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always, for him my covenant shall endure. A response, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. We stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice. Shine on those lost in the darkness of death. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. John's father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and he has come to their rescue. And he has raised up for us a power for salvation in the house of his servant David, even as he proclaimed by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient times, that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Thus he shows mercy to our ancestors. Thus he remembers his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant us free from fear to be delivered from the hands of our enemies, to serve him in holiness and virtue, in his presence all our days. And you, little child, you shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people knowledge of salvation, through the forgiveness of their sins, this by the tender mercy of our God, who from on high will bring the rising sun to visit us,
to give light to those who live in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, today's Gospel is all about Zacharias' prophecy. We know this, and uh, maybe yesterday and day for yesterday, all these passages of gospel connected with Zechariah. And we know almost nine months he was speechless and he couldn't speak anything because we know the reason what happened to him. Because he denied or can't say he denied, instead he doubted, he doubted the Lord or the messenger connected with the naming or connected with the, his son, John the Baptist. But when they decided, when the both decided to give the name to their son, John, that is the moment we heard yesterday's gospel, Zacharias' tongue was loosened and he started to praise the Lord. And today, again, when his tongues were loosened and when he looked back his nine months in silence, Maybe those nine months, he was really reflected the graciousness and the love of God towards him and his family by giving this beautiful child to him and his family. Maybe that's the reason today, today's gospel, his prophecy. Brothers and sisters, when we look into today's gospel, what we can learn from today's gospel, something about a man who really experienced in his past his uh, doubtfulness and he did not cooperate much with that plan of God. But during those days of his silence, he reflected upon God's graciousness and his uh, unconditional love. And now when his tongues were loosened, how strongly he remembers and he proclaims the love of God. My unfaithfulness in the past and during that days of darkness, I reflected and pondered how God blessed me. And now when I realized and experienced the love of God, now onwards, my only one intention, my sole purpose to witness that faithfulness to God back. So this is what we could learn from uh, Zachariah, his unfaithfulness in the past. And now how when he experienced the love and when he really encountered that graciousness of God, then he wants to just proclaim, like our mother Mary said, magnificate of thanksgiving. He also wants to proclaim the same thing. He wants to faithful to God. And the rest of his life, that what we read when you just turn the pages again, the same thing. So brothers and sisters, Everyone has got these situations in life. Maybe there were moments we doubted or there were moments we did not take God so seriously. The moments of unfaithfulness. But the moments that we realize and experience the love of God, from there it begins a wonderful life. Faithful, a faithful life. A trustworthy life towards our God. Which is most important. And it's an invitation from God to be faithful to Him. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, walk of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> mm. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may sacrifice in your sacrifice that we please you. Wash me and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offering which we bring, that partaking of them we bear cleansed of our sins. Merry to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with, long, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming, proclaimed his presence when he came. It's by his gift that already we rejoice, at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Have mercy on all the people who are not able to celebrate this Christmas. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. My praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. You, Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I do this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. The desire to receive you into my soul, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and different. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them.
Let us pray. Grant to us who find new vigor, O Lord, in this your wondrous gift, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your son's nativity, so we might possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of bed. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of it. May God rebuke him, be humbly pray, and do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly. Seeking the ruin of souls. A prayer for priests, O oh Jesus, eternal, eternal priest. priest. Keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart. Where none may harm them, keep unstained the anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and healthy their hearts. Seal with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen.